Today we'll be doing a minimalistic uh, animation reel. Uh, this is something that you kind of uh, kind of see popping up on Instagram. So first thing for us is to make a fusion composition. So this is where I'm at. I'm in a fusion composition right now. I'll just be going through each node step by step. For the for the assets that I'm using, you could see that in my Patreon. You could just join for free. You know, you don't need to pay anything. To, you want to see more? Yeah, definitely consider um, supporting me there. Since this is a vertical, this is like a vertical reel type of um, animation. You just go into your file, then you go into your project settings. Then you um, in the project settings, you just make sure use vertical resolution is set. All right. First thing. Uh, I made a background, right? So this background is white, right? So just make a, a background node and make it white. Yeah. So once you have your background node, um, add a merge. Yeah, it, it looks like a lot, but it is, it's not, it's not just me. It consists of the window frame, uh, the pane of, of the window. So this. It consists of the character, uh, the head. So when I say the character, I mean the body, the head and the arm. All right. So, so when we, when we, mo when we're moving images like this, these type of animations, and you see the arm moving by itself and the head moving by itself, this is, this is broken up into pieces. So to show you, okay, so. This first one here is, um, is basically a mask of this lady's arm, right? So this is actually the full picture of her, but only the arm, only her arm here is masked out. So if you take out this now, you'll see that every, you actually see, you actually see everything. You actually see the whole thing, but it's, but with the mask, you're only seeing this now. So this is the only thing that's moving. Um, right here, you have a transform node and this, this transform node is basically what's controlling the arm. Then you add a merge. This merge is basically to add on top of this, on top of this arm. So whenever you're adding something to a picture or a scene, you would use a merge. All right. So what you're adding here is basically the head now. So. Yeah, as I said before, is this picture is broken up into the the picture of the lady is broken up into three parts. It's the head, the arm, and the body. So the head is masked out. It's masked out with a rectangle. Um, so you, so you can see on the side here, you could take out the mask and you could you know you see everything else comes back, but it's it's just ma masked out. Um, and yeah, these are all the same picture of her, right? Just, you know, just, just trying to repeat that to you. He's all the same picture, but it, each part is just masked out differently. Um, this has a transform to control the head as well. All right. And, um, this, yeah, then you add an X merge and this one now is adding the body. This is, this is the body. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you see the body right here. This is the body. Um, and then this is the head and this is the, this is the arm that's messed up. All right. So what's the, I guess the trickiest thing is just, uh, trying to line up everything because you have to just make sure your mask are done in a way where it, it, it's, it's like co cohesive. So you don't want, you know, we don't want to see, um, any type of gaps in it. You want everything to be smooth. Um, so yeah, this is the mess. Yeah. Hmm. Then you have a transform again for this, for, 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 uh, not just this body though, because if you just wanted a, to move this body, you could put a transform, right? A transform node right here, but this is to basically control everything here. So the body, the head, the arm, uh, you're going to add onto this again. You add in the window frame, right? So th this is just this here, that w that window, this window frame, right? All right, and that's it. That's that's really all you, you had to do for this one here. Then you have to add an X merge because now we're going to add the window print, the window pane, which is this. Um, 
the window pane is um, added here. Then a color, a color corrector is used to basically um, up the saturation. I changed some values a bit. So, it's, you know, these things is based on your taste. So however you want to do it, you could, you could, um, you could um, um, fix it up. Then a transform node to control the the um the um the window pane. All right. And I basically what I did I animated the pane right. So, uh, so you see, I had an animation on keyframe thirty to bring it up a little bit, then fifty five, then sixty five. All right. Um. So that's how that went, right? Um, then this rectangle here, this rectangle is basically, um, this rectangle is basically there to keep the window frame inside this frame here. So not to go over. So if you don't have this rectangle, then, um, this rectangle basically keeps the window pane from over, over spilling into this window frame, right? If you don't have that rectangle there then that's, you're going to see the window frame on top of the frame and stuff like that. So you want it to keep it contained. Um, I added a mosaic blur. So it's kind of like you're looking through frosted glass, um, right here. And I basically added, a, a, I animated a mask with it. So that keeps the, the blur, uh, within the, um, the window and not like outside of the window because I mean with the window pane, because, you know, it's really only the window pane is supposed to have that effect. Um, like you're looking through something. Um, then after that, I did a transform. So everything, everything up above that transform, it can be controlled by this transform node. Um, then added a drop shadow. All right. So now everything has a drop shadow over it. So a slight, you know, shading. Um, this rectangle is basically to contain the drop shadow to not to overspill too much. All right, and added a soft edge. Um, yeah, I didn't want it to overspill too much, so to contain it in there. Um, but you know, you could you could mess around with this, you know, how you however you want to do it. Um, then I added a transform node. Um, this basically again controls everything above it. Um, so for this, I just you know played around with the size. All right, I'm gonna put this in. And put this in. All right. Okay. So this text, we add, we added a a text node and a merge, right? So we, so now we're done with this section. Now we're going to add a, a merge and we're adding a text. So basically this text is, is animated. It, it's, it says feeling, and this is the font. And, um, basically it's just a ride on animation. So at the start, the ride on is at zero. And then wherever you want it to come, to come, to finish, come in, then you just bring it up to one. So this is feeling. Then this next one here is, um, this next one is, is a text called uh, horrible. This is a, a whole different font. Um, so it's basically, this, we did the same thing as the previous text. Um, yeah, we did the same thing in the previous text, but it was staggered a bit. So it comes in after the feeling. Um, but on top of that, we also added, uh, um, a uh, kind of a stroke pen to it. You know, this, this thing right here, how I did that is basically you just come, you just come in like, uh, a right around here, you make a B spline, you make a B spline. So if you look into it closely, it's actually three nodes, three, three B spline nodes. So one, two, three. So you just make that shape there. Then, uh, you put it over a background, a black background. Um, the displace, you add a displace node that's to just give it, um, a little bit of kind of, if you see it, it's, it look, looks kind of, kind of jagged in a way. So kind of, you know, how a real pen is kind of not as smooth. So that's basically what's this doing. So you have a displace node, then you have a picture here, a grunge texture. So, yeah, so 
I use the picture, this grunge texture, this grunge texture overlay, and I use that as an input for the displace because this the displace node could take uh different types of inputs that it uses to kind of uh make the effect. Um, usually people use like fast noise fast noise node for this um, displace um node, but um depending on what you what you want to do, you can use different things. So uh, this texture here is inputted into this space and I manipulated using the color corrector. So, um, so say, you know, if I wanted to, it to be more gritty or something, you know, I could just raise the contrast. So that's raising the contrast, contrast to the picture, which has been inputted into the displace node. And I could, you know, I could bring this down you see, I was getting more, it's getting darker. I'm just getting more, um, jagged, um, you know, so you could play around with it to kind of give more texture to certain things, to text, to picture. Um, uh, fast noise is, uh, it, it's kind of harder to do it with fast noise. I, I found, um, fast noise, it gives it a different type of look. Yeah. You just, certain things you just have to experiment when it comes to displace, you know, you can use different pictures. This, this picture, you can see it in my, my project assets. You could get it from that too, if you want to use it too as well. Um, text merge, right? So this merges for, you know, this over here. Then the rectangle is, uh, basically there to, um, make a transition. So you see how it comes in. That's what that rectangle is doing. It's just masking out, you know, everything there, right? So it's, it's, it's masking out what's in this merge so this is the in this merge this is the stroke pen so that's what it's doing all right so next is we're adding in financially the last note is financially you just put animation to come in after it so it come, comes in at the end um same right on animation Using using it with a merge, um. Then these here, these arrows are basically, um, like video assets that I found and I just placed them inside, right? So it it looks like it kind of gives it like a handwritten type of feel. Um, use the transform nodes to to basically manipulate them in size and angle. Um, use the merge yet to add them. If you want them to come in at a certain time, you could play around with the. The, the whole for the whole first frame or the frame or the um, in and out so for the second one I, I had to bring it in um on 30 frame 30 and um you know it'll come in there so you can use a trim too also to to manipulate um what you see in the video too um yeah so after that then you just have a transform node and that's basically kind of like the camera for the scene is moving is making the scene move um so and i have the spine for it the spine and everything uh i smooth i smooth it out i use ease in uh when i say smooth i use the shift s key you can use shift s you can use ease in ease in and out too as well to make the the transform movement smooth um so you know you 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 basically move you know you basically move things around how you like it you know you don't have to follow exactly how i'm doing here um but i just had a little bouncy kind of feel to it um then after that i added a stop motion effect so that kind of gives it a kind of a stuttery feel um that kind of brings a little bit of kind of like visual texture to it. So it's not as, it doesn't feel as digital, um, as if you just left it playing uh, normally. So besides that, everything that, that, that makes movement, like the transform node, um, what else? Transform node, the, the rectangle, um, yeah. Yeah, basically those two, uh, you, you add a, you add motion blur. So I added motion blur to it. I mean, it's up to you. It's up to what you want to do exactly. So 
yeah, that that's that's basically it.